Let's start at the top where most people are really sore. So it's that neck and then the upper traps, um, the levator scapulae, those areas are pretty tight in most people. And that's what we want to work on first. Allow it to kind of slide around. Oh. <laughs> So wherever the tense areas, you're kind of going around there. Make sure that you avoid the bony areas because it's kind of gonna bounce off the bone. You want to just gently apply it. You don't wanna go around to the front um, where your neck is here. You've got your carotid artery. You wanna avoid that area for sure. When you're going into your shoulders, you can kind of work your way down as well and in, into the shoulder. Of course, you can also do that sort of vibration just with your biceps or if your triceps are sore that kind of thing and then you can work your way down the arm most people spend a lot of time on the back because of course that's what's really stiff you can kind of turn this around and put it onto your back this way um, i prefer to kind of slide down and then so you've got on either end you always want to avoid your spine as well, right down the center, so avoid that area. There's actually another attachment that's sort of designed to go around. So this is the fork head, and that can go around the spine. So it's, it's okay to use it on your own if you want to do that, and you're kind of reaching down, making sure it goes on either side of the spine. So if you're very tender in the shoulders, and you just don't want to hit it too hard, then you can just use the softer head. It's a little bit more spongy. And then you can take that to either side. It really does feel very, very good right afterwards. There's uh, areas that can be around the back here that often feel tight. For me, that's a big one. That can actually lock up your shoulders as well. You've got that posture from perhaps sitting in front of your desk all the time, and this will help relieve the tension there. I'm also gonna show you the bullet head here. This is the really small one. So this is for trigger points and small areas. The movement is exactly the same. But this one I kind of like. If you've got tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. So tennis elbow here is lateral epicondylitis. If you've got that, that feels really good there. Um, and also golfer's elbow on the other side, that's your medial epicondylitis. So if you've got some inflammation there, this is really, really nice to kind of trigger point that area. If it's really, really inflamed, this is not what you want to do with it. You want to probably want to be compressing it and perhaps a little bit of ice for pain relief. But this can be really good if it's just a chronic condition and you want to relieve the tension in the arm there. So on either side of the elbow. Now I've just put the softer head on there again. This is an area that a lot of people don't think about, but we often get tight hip flexors. The psoas, which is the one of the hip flexors that goes directly into the spine. So if your hip flexors are very tight, you may find that it's affecting your posture and you get lower back pain. So for me, I like to do What's one of the most painful things that a massage therapist or a physio can do to you is like a psoas release. So the psoas kind of comes in here inside your hip bone and you can kind of hit that area. So just be inside of the hip bone. Of course, you don't want to touch the bone, uh, but it does help to release that area a little bit. It does become pleasant after a while. You can, of course, bring it around into the lower back area as well. The QL, quadratus lumborum, is often very, very tight here, so that can relieve a little bit of tension there. Now, as we kind of work our way around, a lot of people suffer from tight glutes, piriformis syndrome. That means they have a lot of tension in the glute area there. The piriformis muscle, which is that really painful point that you can find if you feel around in your glutes. So you can also use it to find that point and apply a bit of pressure there. If you suffer from IT band syndrome or runner's knee, because you're getting too much pressure on the outside, the IT band is really tight. So there's a small muscle, the tensor fascia lata, that goes into that. I don't actually recommend that you go hard along the IT band if it's inflamed. It actually can make the inflammation worse. But if you find that spot, and it's pretty for those of us who uh, suffer from this particular ailment, it is, uh, pretty obvious and painful. So you just find that spot and then you can work your way into that and just let the massage gun 
treat that area and that can help release some of the pressure around the knee and make sure that the patella, the kneecap is tracking properly as well. Now the standard stuff that everybody likes to do, the quads often get sore, they're overworked. You can probably do the round head for that one. I'm just gonna keep it on the soft one for now. And then just work your way around the outside. Even on the inner thigh, if you're comfortable, that's gonna be a bit more tender. So be a bit careful there. Now, an area that I really like is the calves. Um, so if you put it on, on your calves, you can just let it do its thing there. So from either end. So if you've been walking a lot, you'll probably feel a lot of tension in that calf muscle, and this is a really great way to relieve it. You can kind of work both sides. And now I'm gonna show you my favorite part for the feet. So this is the flat head. And this is really useful for certain areas where you wanna pressure directly on it. I love it for the feet. This is, I just discovered this one. And uh, so you're gonna hit it here and just slide along the feet. So always control the pressure so it's comfortable for you. This is a really great one. Like obviously our feet get sore if you've been working out a lot, if you've been walking a lot, just standing a lot, feet get sore. But also if you have plantar fasciitis, which I have too recurrently, this can help relieve some of that tension there as well. So your feet really do feel a lot better after using this as well. 